Hello students, welcome again. Today we are going to see how we can create a database and uh, delete a database and then we will move on to create uh, tables, simple table as well as a table with uh, some uh, table attributes that we studied in our class. So if you want to create a database, uh, there are two ways available uh, even for uh, other database uh, objects as well. There are two ways available. One is using the uh, SQL syntax uh, in the query window as well as using uh, the graphical user interface. So let me explain how we can create a database using uh, uh, Management Studio's uh, graphical user interface. To these, uh, we have to make sure that uh, the uh, server is connected where you see this green uh, indicator meaning the server is successfully connected and then I am going to right click on databases folder and uh, I am choosing new database link. Now I will uh, get uh, the new database uh, window. It is asking for the uh, name of the database. Let me give SIS standing for students information system let me expand uh, this window here it uh, asks for more options as i told in the class we have uh, added uh, the name sis and it is suffixed by another text uh, underscore log standing for log and it is creating a log file automatically the initial initial size is uh, defined as uh, 3mb uh, 3 MB is the initial size and uh, it is going to be increased by 1 MB when, uh, when uh, the 3 MB is getting filled and uh, the default location is the uh, SQL server's uh, its relation location and it is better to have this log file in another fold, another drive if possible to ensure that uh, in case uh, the database crashes we should be able to recover it. So this is the options available and uh, these are the options available and uh, if you want to more customization you can go and customize so I'll, I'll accept the default and click OK button now the database is being created if we want to make sure the database is created you can expand this database node and see SIS is created and uh, this is how we can create a database using graphical user interface next we will see how we can uh, create a database using uh, query window and use a SQL uh, syntax codes to create a database. If you want to create a database what you have to do is to use uh, create database database uh, uh, syntax of uh, SQL server. The create database syntax the, as long as the SQL server is concerned you, whether you type the code in uh, small characters or capital characters doesn't make any difference because SQL server is case insensitive and I'm going to give uh, the name SIS new because already I have, we have a, a database called SIS so it won't create if you want to see how it works you can uh, type uh, SIS and accept accept the uh, try to accept the name let me try it I'm clicking on this execute button or uh, I can press F5 on the keyboard I'm clicking on this execute button it says the database SIS already exists because it is here so what we can do is is to get rid of this database by using the drop database uh, command or right click on this uh, database and then and choose uh, delete so it will ask uh, whether you want to delete the database if you want to delete permanently you can uh, click on ok so that uh, it gets deleted now we will run this it says command completed successfully which means the database has been created but you don't see the database here what you have to do is to refresh this so that you see the database is uh, created just being created well this is how we can uh, create a database and once uh, you have created the database uh, you can't uh, add data to the database because uh, the tables are the place where the data will be sitting on so we have to create the table and if you want to create the table you should have the table uh, structures available in advance 
so uh, let me uh, have the table uh, created for you before creating a table we have to make sure we are in the database where we want to create the database the tables correction so now we are in the master database what we have to do is to type use use sis so that here you see now we are inside the uh, sis database let me create the table uh, for this we use a syntax create table table that is the syntax it is followed by open bracket and close bracket and let me have some uh, sample columns first of all let me give a name for the uh, table right student basic info so this is the name of the table and the columns registration number we can have uh, let it be uh, a watcher character watcher data type with uh, 20 characters and uh, it is the primary key column and then we can have first name first name watcher and 50 not null because uh, names uh, cannot be null students should have a name and first name last name it also can be uh, 100 and not null student will have last name and street address address watcher 100 and city watcher 50 what else we can have okay date of birth date of birth dob date of birth uh, let it be small date type because date of birth is going to be a uh, date of time value and date of birth we should give uh, the student uh, should give date of birth and then we can have uh, the student's mobile number mobile number or let it be contact number contact number and we can have watcher 15 characters so once you have uh, mentioned all these what we can do is uh, is to run this code okay run this code let me run this code execute it says command completed successfully right so let me expand this uh, sis database and expand the tables node so that we have this students student basic info table created if I expand the columns I'll see the columns created and uh, to make sure the data is fetched let me use uh, select all from student info and since we have more than uh, one kind of uh, scripts here what I am going to do is to select the specific text that is to be uh, executed and then uh, click on execute yes the command uh, ran successfully and it is uh, fetching the structure of the database because uh, no data has been added yet so this is how we can create a table and uh, let me uh, finish it with this and uh, we will uh, continue with more in future videos thank you for watching please keep on practicing take care bye